Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Sorry you guys caught me while sipping on coffee. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys are doing amazing. Want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Hope you guys are staying safe. Let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what's coming, what's going on with your love life. Um, for those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to like and hit that subscribe button to help us grow our channel. Um, for those of you guys that have been with me for quite a while, thank you. I want to let you guys know that we're opening calendar so you guys could reach out now for consultations. At the end of the year, we get the busiest and we're booking now for uh, November, December, and January. So you guys definitely jump on that and opening calendar for spell work as well. We've been extremely, it almost feels like we've been uh, completely booked all year, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, so the availability for picking up cases has been very limited, but we are opening calendar now. So you guys definitely reach out if you guys are interested in that. All right. We also have tons of new things coming. Our new series is going to be coming out uh, sometime in the month of November. This is a series that is made specifically for those of you guys that are interested in learning how to read the tarot. Uh, we're going to go uh, basically teach you guys all 78 cards. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned to that. Anyways, let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of October 2021 regarding your love life. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please step forward. Allow us to guide Leos. Um, allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for them. What is it that they need to know at this present time regarding their love life? Please speak to us. Give us clarity and insight. Allow us to see even that which remains hidden. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels. What are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding their love life. All right. Let's get into it, Leo. Your first card here is the King of Wands. Beautiful energy. This is you being empowered. This is you taking on or really vibrating from the, from the masculine energy, whether you're a female or a male. Uh, this is being very direct. This is being aggressive in the goals and aspirations that you're trying to achieve. This is taking action. So if you felt like in the past you've been a little bit passive, now is the time to go full throttle, Leo. <laughs> Keep in mind that Saturn just recently went uh, direct and we're also going to have Mercury going direct in the month of uh, this month, actually, on the 18th. So again, um, feeling more like yourself again. Now, your next card. Ooh, we have a tower moment here. So there are a lot of things that are happening right now, Leo, uh, that you may be experiencing on an emotional level. The tower is always a representation of something that has happened in the past. Um, because when the sh tower shows up, it usually indicates it has already happened. Um, and this is a representation of your crown chakra, right? So for some of you guys, you may be receiving a lot of spiritual downloads. This is you uh, connecting with your spirits, uh, with your spirit guides, archangels. This is you receiving messages, even having extremely lucid dreams. For others of you, pay attention to your dreams because they're trying to communicate something here. The tower is always a representation of being able to completely break down um, all our illusions or every everything that we have seen up until this point that is not very grounded to be able to see it from a very different perspective, to have more um, clarity, to build on a much more solid foundation. So. There is something within you, Leo, that has been shaken up lately. Um, again, it could be, you know, dreaming, having dreams about the past, about past partners. Uh, this could be you going out, um, having a few drinks, and all of a sudden you start getting all these emotions about a person from your past. Or uh, if you guys are currently in a relationship, could be almost like finding yourself uh, kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I don't want to say compare, but it's almost like looking at certain things that are putting you on the other spectrum. Uh, whereas in the past, perhaps you critiqued or judged an ex-partner. Right now, it's almost like you're kind of like, well, they weren't that bad, that type of energy. 
um, there is definitely a clearing and a different perspective that you're taking on or have been experiencing. And this is in direct connection with your emotions. These are suppressed emotions. These are things that we haven't wanted to address. For some of you guys, it could be things that you've been you know, suppressing for the past five, six, seven years. Um, whatever relationship was the most uh, transformative for you, it's, it's being able to see or acknowledge that there are still some residue feelings. There are some residue energy that you haven't wanted to address. So we, there's a need, there's a push to be able to address this so that you can fully recover and fully let go and fully heal yourself to be able to become the better version of yourself, Leo. The next card here is the King of Pentacles with the Chariot card and the Death card. Okay, so this is definitely Pluto's energy, uh, Saturn energy here. Um, the the what's what was I going to say? The uh, Cancer energy as well um, with the Moon energy. Uh, sorry, with the Chariot card here. What they're showing me here is there is a major transformation that's happening, Leo. For a lot of you guys, you do have two kings here. So it could be a representation of someone that's very prominent in your life right now um, or that will be coming into your life that will become very prominent. Um, but there are certain, there's still certain issues or emotions, I should say, that you need to work through in order to fully release yourself from the past. With the death card, there is a transformation that's happening here. For some of you guys, and I know that, you know, Leos are not, um, you guys are definitely not the prideful type, right? <laughs> but this is almost like being able to see yourself completely in a mirror and acknowledging the good and the bad and what we need to work on when it comes to relationships. Um, are you asking or are you solely depending um, for the partner to completely give themselves completely to you, to completely surrender to you. Are you doing the same thing on your side? You know what I mean? It's about reciprocity here, but it also speaks about um, having a hard look at how we are as partners when it comes to relationships. And I feel that ultimately it's going to lead you to not only be more confident in yourself, but to know that it's okay to be vulnerable sometimes, uh, Leo. Um, the king of wands is that of fiery and passion energy. King is a king of pentacles is grounded. It, it's, it's about nurturing, right? It's about earth. It's about, and in order for us to fully be able to experience true authentic connections, we ourselves must be willing to give that side of ourselves as well. So, I hope that uh, through this process, I hope that you guys are able to believe in yourselves, know that when it comes to relationships, not every single person you, you know, start dating is the same person as the person you've dealt with in the past. Let go of anything that, you know, you may be experiencing right now when we're talking about specifically the past. Don't necessarily ignore it sit there with that emotion embrace that emotion acknowledge it but make sure not to dwell in that energy okay and it's very important for the purpose of self-healing i want to wish you guys the very best don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see each other soon bye